Hey guys, I have an art supply to share with you. This is a cute little travel set of 12 Aquafine watercolors by Dela Rowney. They're made with finely milled, high quality pigments. They're transparent and they're light fast. Okay, so let's open this up and swatch some colors. You just pull the sleeve off and all of the color names and numbers are on the back. I'm going to keep this for reference. This is a really nice hard plastic case and you have your 12 colors here, your mixing palette here, and they've included a really nice number four round brush. I love that. I'm going to go ahead and swatch using a number eight Princeton Aqua Elite because I'm, I want to make a really nice large swatch for you guys. Okay, so I have my watercolor paper. I'm going to wet my brush and the first color that I'm going to swatch is lemon yellow. Okay, wow, okay, let me move this so you guys can see. I just touched my wet brush to my paint pan and look at all the pigment already. It dissolves, oh, I got a little paint on there. It dissolves so fast. Okay, so that's good. It feels very creamy. Now let's swatch this color. Lots of pigment. All right, the next color is called, oh, gamboge. Okay. Now gamboge is, is like an orange color. It's like a yellow orange color. Now this is a very light gamboge. Every gamboge I've ever swatched, they're all different. So each brand has their own take on, I guess, the color gamboge, but some are much more orange than others. I personally prefer a very orange gamboge, but that looks pretty darn yellow to me. Okay, so the next color is cadmium red hue. But guys, if your gamboge isn't orange enough, just mix a little bit more. Just mix a little bit of red in with it and you can change the color. Okay, so what did I say this was? Cadmium red. Okay. These are really good intense colors. Okay, the next color is alizarin crimson. I am really impressed with how well these just dissolve instantly into a wet brush. That's really good. Look at all that pigment. Okay, this is very intense, almost ink-like color. Okay, the next color is cobalt blue. Look at that. Okay, so these are really good. The next we have is Ultramarine Blue Dark. So this is going to be a dark ultramarine blue. Okay, I'm, I'm really liking how intense these colors are, guys. Okay, our next color is Hooker's Green. And it looks like this is the only green they've given us in this set. I did notice that you can buy this travel set um, a, a little bit larger. They have a set of 24, which is great. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how intense that color is. Okay. That's really good. Look how beautiful you, this color right here, what color was that? That's the dark ultramarine. It looks like we're having some granulation to that color and I love that. Okay, the next color is our yellow ochre. 
beautiful. And then we have raw sienna. These are all of our mixing colors. Well, for me they are. You can just use them as brown, but I like to mix my colors um, because I love to mix my colors to get that, oh gosh, what I want, what do I want to say? To get that um, muted muted color palette that I love so much. Okay, so this is called, oh, Light Red. So, let's see what their Light Red is. Why are they calling that Light Red? I have no idea. It's, it's a muted, it's a very muted um, brown, maybe a terracotta color but that's what they're calling it. So, the next color is Burnt. Is that Burnt Sienna? Yeah, Burnt Sienna. It's a very transparent color. And then our last color is Payne's Gray. Oh, that's a beautiful dark smoky color. Oh my gosh. That's that's, I'd love that. Okay, so I heard an artist the other day, or maybe I read it, I read lots of art books, and they said um, that they never ever buy black watercolor. They only, the darkest color they'll ever use is Payne's Gray, and I thought that was very interesting, and it made a lot of sense actually, because um, in nature, how much black do you see? Usually it's a really dark, intense color, but you never really get black, unless you're painting a lamp post or something. But anyway, I think that's beautiful. This is a really good color palette. Okay, so what do I think about this color palette? For 12 colors, this is a really good place to start from. All of these colors are bright and vibrant and you can easily mix these to create more colors. I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I think these are great. I love how quick and easily they dissolve in water. They're smooth. They're not grainy at all. This is a really nice, high quality watercolor. So I love how very tiny this is also. This is a really great little travel set. You could even stick this in your pocket, guys. It's smaller than a cell phone. It's so super cute. All right, guys, oopsie, look what I did. I got paint on my swatches. Guys, I keep every one of these swatch cards that I make. What I do is I label them on the side uh, exactly what it is that I've swatched, and I keep them in a big box of swatches. So I always have these if I need to refer back to them. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this swatch video, and I'll see you later. Bye.